Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Make sure to turn the gas shutoff valve off before the repair. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the electronic control. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have this, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new electronic control. The main reason you'd be changing out the electronic control is if the control has failed and is no longer controlling the oven. In order to change the part, we have to access the rear of the console and remove this big panel. With the screws out to remove the panel, just pull out and then down on the panel. Just be very careful you don't break anything. You got to kind of pull it on hard enough to get those tabs out. The first thing we have to do is remove the connections. And these particular ones, they just pull off and they all come together as a block. So you don't have to worry about labeling wires. But if yours has individual wires, then you have to label them. Now that we have the wire harnesses off, we can remove the screws that hold it in place. And the electronic control will come straight out. Here's the old electronic control next to the new electronic control. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. A lot of the electronic controls come with a protective film on it. So whether it has this sticker on it or not, make sure you see if it has one and peel it off. In order to mount the electronic control, we need to slide it into place and replace the screws. Now we can replace the main back panel. Don't lose this piece. So we need to stick this up here above the insulation and between the electronic control. Make sure not to hit the electronic control and damage it. Once you have that in place, you're going to have to push it down a little bit to get these tabs underneath and let it slide up into place. And then we can put the screws back in. Now that you're done repairing your gas range, you can plug it back in and test it out. Make sure to turn the gas shutoff valve on when you're finished with the repair. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.